This manhole I'm standing on, it's smart, super smart. In fact, it's accumulated over 1 million individual data points from the day it was commissioned. But do you know what's more impressive? <laughs> it's not the only one. You see, these once passive assets that were originally designed for access and maintenance are being made smart across the globe. Hey, cut it out. I want to make a film here. So how is it then only in the last five years we've seen such an exponential growth in smart manholes? Well, the secret lies under here. This is an RTU, and it's really hard to make an RTU sexy, so I hope you enjoyed the montage. Anyway, it stands for Remote Terminal Unit, and whilst RTUs are nothing new, this one's packaged a little bit differently. You see, technologies like 37 South Sight Sentinel and Metasphere's point color range have made it super easy to... <laughs> Freaking mosquito. Have made it super easy to enable smart manholes on the go. You see, for this to be flexible enough to install anywhere, it had to overcome a couple of obstacles. The main one being power. And to overcome that, simply just give less data. You see, by taking tiny snapshots of data less frequently and combining it with lithium batteries, you've got a seriously powerful RTU. And with standard industrial analog and digital inputs, what you monitor really is up to you. Check this out. This manhole ugh, has a float switch and an analog level sensor in there. Whoa, that is flowing poo. Okay. This is a hydrostatic level sensor covered in poo. And this is the reason we've been able to get over 1 million data points. Ugh. Yes, to a technician, they said. You'll love it, they said. Actually, I don't think anyone said that. You see, each time that water rises a certain percentage above and below that sensor, we get a registered event in this thing. Oh, and it doesn't just stay here. It goes to your SCADA system. That's right. It goes off-site and you can host it anywhere you like. And for the RTU geeks out there, it uses DMP3 and FTP and some other protocols sometimes. Anyway, but whilst all this is pretty cool, why would you even want to monitor a remote manhole? See, this is a traditional sewage pump station. See, all the sewage from all the houses around the area comes straight down and into this big wet well. Now, this thing is a pretty large piece of infrastructure. And what comes with it is a main supply with a switchboard to power the pumps to get it up over the hill. But what we're interested in is what's in between. You see, as it pumps over the hill, it doesn't just go in a straight line. It goes up, down, left, right. And at those junctions is where we are going to find some manholes. <laughs> All right, it looks like I found the first manhole along the line. And... I reckon the other one is not that far away according to the map. So here we are. There is our manhole monitor. So we've gone along the line and gotten to here, but why are we monitoring here? Okay, that was a rhetorical question. I obviously know why we're monitoring it. At this very junction is called a siphon and it goes all the way underneath that creek. You see, it's local streams like this one that the remote RTU technology is able to protect. Because traditionally, if we had a blockage in a manhole, it would likely overflow and end up into this stream, causing all sorts of damage to the local wildlife. And as more and more water authorities catch on to this technology across the globe, we're able to provide a cleaner environment for everyone. So now you know why this manhole is so smart. But is yours as smart as this one? Be quiet! <laughs> <laughs>